Hey guys, look at these bras. Ah! Ah! Let me flip you around. If it'll flip around, okay, it's gonna flip back. Lord, <laughs> I'm glad it'll flip back and forth though, to be honest with you. Oh, my little dish water. I just got done washing the dishes from dinner, so excuse that. So today we're gonna be using this bad boy for the first time. For the first time. So I'm gonna wait till you guys get in here before I start. I don't want nobody to miss anything. This is my first time using the Cuisinart um, ice cream maker that I just got from Amazon. And we're gonna make ice cream. They say it takes 15 to 20 minutes, so we're going to see. That's usually I'm on live longer than that, so we're going to see. Let me go grab the ice bowl and the eggnog. Gonna let that sit for Ugh. 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 waiting for y'all to come in. That's the eggnog I made. Where are all my revivers? Are you guys eating dinner? Was this a bad time? Was this a bad time? I'm going to kind of wing this, guys, because I, to be honest with you, I never made eggnog ice cream. I just love it, so I'm going to be winging it today. Um, and creating my own eggnog ice cream and see how it comes out. First time you guys can witness it with me. I know that we got all the stuff that we need. We got some heavy whipping cream. Let me open this and get this ready. Thank you, Rizzy. So, um, where we are. I'm going to wait about five minutes. So when it gets about five minutes, I'm just going to start creating the ice cream. Um, yep. So you want your bowl to be frozen solid, which this one is. It was in the deep freezer. So no worries on that we have. Pull this up so we can get... Hold on one second, y'all. This thing gets real tall. So I want to utilize it so you can down at what I'm doing. And you don't have to worry. Hold on. It's too tall. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. So, got about a minute and 15 seconds, and I'm just going to start. I do not like how this looks, so let me pull that over. I'm going to start shortly. I probably should have put this on the other side. Right here, because that will be in my way. All right, guys, so I'm not going to keep waiting for uh, people to join in. They'll see the video. I'll leave it up. Um, so it says to put, uh, I had some um, whipped cream. So we're going to add two cups of my eggnog that I created. And I added whipped cream to it. I'm probably, I don't know if I should have or shouldn't have, but anywho, we're going to put two cups of the whipped cream, I mean the eggnog. And that's whipped cream that's in it. So we're gonna put two cups of that. I'll put more. I want mine to taste real eggnoggy. Because it has cream and stuff already in it. So I'm gonna put 
a cup of milk in here, my almond milk, and I'm going to add some of this um, heavy cream. I'm just going with the flow. I don't know exactly. I say that was about a, a eighth of a cup of heavy cream, and I am just going to. Ooh, it's loud. I don't know if it's supposed to be this loud. Could I? <laughs> Y'all, I cannot mute this. I did not know it was gonna be. So, well, they did say it, it is kind of loud, so I hope I'm not yelling over it. Oh my gosh! I don't know if this was a good idea to do this live. Maybe after I put it up on YouTube, I can cut it down, cut the volume down or something. So we're going to time it. I'm going to put my timer on for 15 minutes. This is loud. gonna be loud y'all please forgive me I don't know if it's supposed to be this loud I don't recall all this noise on the other videos but those is pre-recorded and edited so I'm not sure if they just took the noise out and was voicing over but I'm doing it live so it's hard for me to uh, change the, the noise I'm doing good oh it is normal okay thank you sis I see it getting thick in there <laughs> I'm getting all excited uh, I have an ice cream maker. Hey, hey, Marcia. Hey, Faye. Y'all, it is making. I see it. I got my timer on 15 minutes to see how um, it turns on in 15 minutes. Because it says, some people say 15 to 20 minutes. I guess that depends on how you like it. If you want it soft serve or if you want it, um, you know, hard. Um, and I use almond milk because you know I put almond milk in my eggnog. 
forgive those and forgive me for those who don't know um this is kind of noisy i didn't know it um i'm sorry <laughs> But for those of you who might want to get it, we don't mind. We don't mind the noise to get this ice cream. It don't bother us, but I just didn't know that it would be loud. I hope you guys can hear me. Could you guys hear me? Sis, can you hear me really good? Loving my babies. And Faith, could y'all hear me? Okay, good, good. Thank you. Hey, Wendy. Hey, girl. I'm all on my tippy toes in this camera because I got it face down so it's so high up. Oh, my gosh. I'm like a kid, y'all. I hope my head, my head probably covering everything when I be looking in the eye. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> amazing this is amazing and i just like the fact that i know it's been going for about five minutes i have 10 minutes on my timer it says 25 minutes so i want to see because some people say they like it at 15 so i'm gonna see what 15 minutes look like but i'm probably gonna go all the way to the um 25 minute mark so add another 10 minutes i figured my lives are long anyway so 25 minutes is really nothing on a live so oh my gosh y'all let me get close please don't mess up please don't mess up okay hold on that at school with the dry ice well no they didn't do a dry ice they did it with ice and salt and they made um homemade ice cream i bet the ice cream is good look y'all it is getting thick and we only like seven minutes in yeah i'm gonna let it go to 25 minutes oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm so excited I'm gonna bring this. Let me see if I can bring this down. This thing's so high. That thing has been in the freezer since I bought it. I wiped it out and I put it in the freezer the day that I unboxed it. My deep freezer. I put it in the deep freezer. They said put it in the deep freezer because it'll get even harder. I mean colder and solid in um, the deep freezer. So as soon as I was ready to do this, I told my daughter to get out of the freezer and I popped it right in here. I did not let it sit out or nothing. I put it right in there and added my stuff to it. Well, you know, I'll be doing my research because I don't be wanting to mess nothing up. I ain't got no money to be wasting all these ingredients. <laughs> this is so cool. I cannot wait to eat this. For $62, you cannot beat this machine. And I don't even have it completely full. And I didn't use all my eggnog. And my eggnog came in one of those pork containers. Um, the BPA containers for food that I showed you guys. When I showed you, I bought this with the containers. So I can put it in the freezer to freeze the ice cream. So loving my babies, do you guys eat it right out of here? Or do you put it in the um, freezer and let it get harder and then just scoop it out? How do you do yours? Because I'm thinking about putting it in the freezer after it's done. Well, I made a salted caramel one. 
time, let me tell you something. What do you and your auntie say when something is really good? Oh, girl. We ate some and froze some. Okay, okay. You got to give me your recipe. And if I come up with something different, I'm going to share it with you too. You know I'm about to be doing all types of stuff. My husband like peanut butter cups and stuff, so I can't wait to try some stuff for him. Rizzy like m &Ms. Um, I love butter pecan. I love mint chocolate chip. I love Rocky Roll. So I want to try my own Rocky Roll chocolate ice cream and then um, take my uh, almonds and dip them in some milk chocolate and, you know, and let them, you know, uh, what is the word? You know, dip them in milk chocolate and let them set and then use them. Freeze them. I'm going to freeze them so they don't stick together and then put them in the ice cream base and make me a chocolate Rocky Roll ice cream and get some of that fluff that fluff and put it all through it that marshmallow stuff because it's supposed to have like marshmallows chocolate and then the nuts um chocolate covered almonds i don't like rocky roll without chocolate covered almonds i like my almonds to be um covered so guys we are nine minutes in and this is what we got so far nine minutes in thumbs up let me check my pot pie I put two cups of um the eggnog that I created it's a video that I posted earlier of this homemade eggnog from scratch. So go check that out. It's a real short video, straight to the point. Some good, tasty eggnog. So I got that. And then I put a cup of almond milk. And then I put a little over half a cup of um, cream. Of the heavy creamer from Audi. Everything from Audi. This. I put like a half a cup of this two cups of eggnog that I made and then the cup of milk. We are 12 minutes in. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm like a big kid right now. Y'all even understand how happy I am. I love ice cream. Let's zoom in more. This stuff is really, let me see if it'll let me.
or is it a certain type of base for chocolate? Because I definitely want to make me some rock and roll. Okay. Have you done the butter pecan? And how did it pecan pecan? 25 minutes. I didn't start as soon as I started the video. I kind of talked and told y'all what I was putting in. Um, and so we five minutes, um, five minutes and 35 seconds into 25 minutes. So in five more minutes, it'll be 25 minutes that this has been running. As it says about 25 minutes, it says fully automatic makes two quarts in as little as 25 minutes. You gotta send me that recipe, say. Wait, is that recipe in the book? Let me see. Okay, I see the vanilla base. Ooh. Creamy butter pecan. I got it, baby. Got it. Yes. I cannot wait to try these. We are four minutes in. Four more minutes and 30 seconds.
No Brooklyn. Yes. This is my first time camming. Right, you see it changing? It gets harder and harder. So it goes from like a soft serve to um, a hard ice cream. And that's what I wanted to do. Cause we're not gonna eat this right now cause dinner is in the oven. But I'm gonna let them taste it. And then I'm gonna put it in one of the containers. Probably gonna need more than one of these, huh? 40 seconds. is ready it was on time literally y'all eight seconds left look at it y'all see six seconds five four <laughs> yes and i have okay all right so naya rizzy let me get another spoon Turn it around. Oops, is it gonna turn around and come back? Come back. Okay. So. Yes, this is good. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know for sure. Ooh, ooh. Come over here, baby. Come on. I know for sure if I put more cream, it's gonna be on the money. Here you go. This is Rizzy trying it. She said ice cream. <laughs> Let me turn it around. Right? I just, uh, they were saying that I need to just put, if I want it creamier, more, I don't want that bouncing back. Put more cream, and it'll be it's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. Oh. Put more cream. So what I'm gonna do? My car Naya, but I'm what? You want some more? I'm gonna put this in the freezer because we gotta eat. Hold on, could y'all see? Okay. Tell your sister to come on. Okay. Oh, let me turn it around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got stuff in my hand, y'all. Trying to get this stuff off. <laughs> Oops. I am making a mess. See what I'm saying? Oh, went right in the small. I can't see what y'all saying right now. Well, let me get this in here and I'm going to turn my camera back around. So what about the stuff that's inside there, sis? What about that stuff? Do I leave it or just rinse it out or? I'm gonna break this one off. Make sure ain't no air in it so I can put it in the freezer. Trying to make sure ain't no air in it so I can freeze it. So what about this stuff? I feel like that's a waste. What do I just leave it? I don't like that. Hmm. Oh well. 
I don't think it's a lot. It's just like coated on there. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. And after dinner, this is what I'm having. Okay, let me turn the camera on. I done got stuff flying all in my face and stuff. Look. <laughs> Okay. Well, this thing is still freezing cold. I'm just going to run water. Run water on it. Is that what I'm supposed to do, y'all? Thank you, Faye. Hey, DG. That's all the licking stays. I love cook treat in cook treat in my house. What do you mean? I'm rinsing this off right away. I am not trying to have this thing all messed up and wiping it down. Is that what y'all do? Do y'all stick it inside? Oh, this is irritating. Y'all stick it inside the um the thing and just like let that stuff kind of come off of it. Is that what y'all do? It's melting. It's like it was freezing to the bottom of it. You still there, Faye, and loving my babies? Did y'all like collect like that, like mine was? Why did that happen? Why was it collecting at the bottom like that? Like some of my stuff was at the bottom of the machine. Okay. All right. I was nervous thinking I did something wrong. Okay. Well, I'm letting that stuff like melt off. Melt off. It does let it sit then eat in the freezer right hello everyone coming in hit the like thank you for now bring the door <laughs> ring the doorbell too <laughs> that's cute mm. yes ring that doorbell for ring the doorbell okay so did y'all see the video i posted up about my um my pot pie i could cut this off now in the video that is the pot pie um <clears throat> the unchicken the chickenless pot pie did y'all see that video that is what's in my oven at the moment and I want to take a peek at it <clears throat> I am so hungry so I can't wait till it's done look how good that's looking y'all could y'all see it make sure those potatoes is done let me unplug that i am so excited that i made ice cream let me chat with y'all for a little bit oh y'all i was tempted to get me a sweet potato muffin oh this is so awesome ooh, ooh. okay i'm hot with that oven on okay so what you guys cooking today um why is my tripod still looking like and feeling like that is going to be too high? Okay. Something. There we go. Bam. 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 Yes. Got my little Quiznart papers. I got to do the warranty thing. So yeah, that's what we have in. I got my pot pie cooking. That'll be done soon. And this camera looks like it is so foggy. There we go. So all of the decorations is up. It looks so pretty. Y'all want to see it? Y'all want to get a sneak peek? Y'all know we put the decorations up days ago. Let me show y'all. Well, the kitchen y'all can kind of see with my poinsettia there got this little thing there 
but hubby is in here, so it's kind of, let me give y'all a little sneak peek, see, of it, the fireplace and the credenza, and we actually have, um, what stuff out the windows, Naya made the pillows, which you're going to see in the video that I talked about. Hold on. Oh, this video, I don't, don't want to get copyrighted. I always be talking about some cop copyright mess when I be trying to do stuff. So let me get my butt out of that living room. But yeah, that's a little sneak peek of what we have going on so far. And then, you know, I have my tree in my room. The girls have their trees in their room. Um, those trees I bought last year for like $2 and some change. Um, thank you, Faye. Thank you. So that's basically it. Um, I think we're going to do something around that window. Um, probably within the next couple of days, we're going to do the rest of the stuff outside. The fairy lights are in the window. They are in the window. Um, I don't know what they look like outside. I'm scared to go outside. It's dark time. I ain't going out there. I'm scared. What trees you bought last year for two? Girl, them, um, these little um, mini already pre-lit trees it was two of them two dollars and sixty cent for two of them four foot trees for my kids um bedrooms you want to see one of them hold on let me show you one of them oh we have a new pet we have a new pet do y'all know at walmart when when um christmas the season was over i went to walmart could you light your tree babe so they could see it she just got a little mini tree they say four foot but i promise you i think they count in the um the uh the pot that it comes in that's naya's she basic she don't want to do nothing to it so that one right there and rizzy has one upstairs as well but do you guys want to see the new pet rizzy requested a certain pet and she has it my girls are different <laughs> can i come in stinka where is he okay well you yeah, put them where I can show them without showing you. This is the new. Let me get on the floor. <laughs> this is the new pet, guys. Y'all ready? This is Rizzy's. She begs us, begged us for this. And she was able to get some of her gift money. And um, we put the rest to it. And she don't have a shirt on, so I can't show y'all his habitat. But I got a little video I would probably share with y'all. It is a bearded dragon. They live for about 10 to 12 years. And they get about, how big? Uh, about 20 inches? Yeah. About 20 inches, about two feet. Two feet long. And he's just sitting there. <laughs> she gonna bring his little habitat over. It's a heating lamp to it as well. My cat just killed it. No, I don't think. No, that's this is a bearded dragon. This is not a lizard. People get these mixed up. This is not a lizard. Bearded dragons, you actually, when they get big, can put leash on them and walk them like a pet. Look up bearded dragons on YouTube and all over. They are very smart. They will watch TV with you. They, um, it was one on, um, YouTube dancing and... Um, I don't know if it's a particular lizard, but it's called a bearded dragon. Um, so if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know the name of this is a bearded dragon. Hey, 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 hi. You're not going to move? You're not going to move? So this is his habitat, and we really created it just like that. We bought the bottom. We bought the... Um, the all this greenery all this stuff he likes to climb through and get into it and his name is mr zz yeah. and he watches tv with rizzy and it is so funny it's the cutest thing he literally looking up right now he's literally looking up right now and he loves watching tv so this is her it's a cricket right there. new where is it a cricket at cricket. is it's alive mm -hmm. oh y'all let him just go in there mm -hmm. oh okay they grow big like a foot plus. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yep. Say hi. He looking from the side of his head. It's so funny. Why is you acting like that? Touch him, Rizzy. See if he moves. Because he is really acting real funny right now. Why are you acting like that? Why are you acting like that, Mr. ZZ? Hmm? Why are you acting like that? You don't want... 
You don't want nobody to touch you? He's so little. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. That's how little he is. He is really tiny and they get big. He eats crickets and fruits and vegetables. And I have a video of him eating some crickets. It's the cutest thing, the way he acts like he's not paying attention and he just grabs them with his tongue. Um, not like how, it's just weird. I'll show it to you. If you guys want to see, hello everyone coming in, hit the like button. Thank you. Ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell, Vernell. Yes. Thank you, girl. See how he just sitting there? It's like he know, oh, I see all the crickets. See all them crickets moving in there? See them? Over in there. You see him? Put him in there and see if he'll eat one for them. You think he will? He is greedy. He eats about how many ribs? About six, seven, eight crickets. Let's see if he'll eat one for y'all. Crawling over there. By him? You think he's gonna eat it? He know we talk. Oh, he got it, didn't he? No, it's behind. He licking his mouth. Think it really and this has a top to it i was uh i was grateful to find her a cage and the guy sold it to us for 15 dollars. it's a 20 gallon and all the other stuff she needed was about a good 80 bucks but to feed him if we don't get him on fruit it'll be about for the month almost 30 bucks Almost 30 bucks because uh, crickets, the crickets that they sell at the store is 11 cents a piece. And he has to eat every day and he eats about six of them a day. So if that's six a day times, so that's 66 times. So it's probably about 15 bucks for the month, 15 to less than 20 bucks a month to feed him if he only does crickets. You see that cricket? Let's see if he gets it, y'all. You think he's going to get it? I don't know. Oh, your turtle was moving. I was wondering what that noise was. Y'all remember we still got, what's his name? Um, Mr. Pepper. Mr. Pepper. Remember him? He done put his head in. We still got Mr. Pepper. He is a to himself. I say he mad at Rizzy because Rizzy got another pet. Wish I could send you some. My chickens love them. Some what? Some what? Send me what? Oh, it's the cricket up there? Yeah. Where? Where did it go? Right there. You think he gonna eat it? I don't know. He probably not hungry. We fed him earlier too. Oh, your chickens love the crickets? He ain't he not hungry. Say hello. Say hello. He is not trying to hear us right now. I messed up you and her TV time. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> oh, oh, let me get my pickle self up off this flow. Ow. Oh, it's got a cramp in my foot. Been in my leg like that. Whew, on the floor with you, girl. Why is my room light on? Oh, this heater need to come on. So... Ooh. Oh, did y'all see my Christmas tree? Look at my little, my Christmas tree. Remember this one from last year? Same Christmas tree. I still love it. Ain't no need to change it or waste money on nothing else. So, yep. Let me show you what it looks like with the lights on. This is what it is. All Dollar Tree decked out and Fairy Light decked out. Nothing special. Yepers, that's the tree. That's the tree. That's the tree. And I got a remote. This is the one I was telling you about, but I can show it to y'all. Let me cut this down. Turn this around and show y'all all the different. Okay, am I going crazy? Oh, I'm pushing. I'm doing the wrong thing. These are all the little modes. I like this one to fade in and fade out. <laughs> that is too cute. Then this one gets real bright. Then that one. 
And that's just a still one where it doesn't move. But that's my favorite. So, yeah, that's my Dollar Tree Christmas tree. Well, the Christmas tree I got off of. Um, now, that is four foot. And I know that's bigger than the one they got. So, I don't know what size. They talking about four feet. Oh, maybe it said three feet. But anyways, I like this tree. I paid like seven bucks for this. I was selling this on Facebook Marketplace. I think he had it for like 14. I talked him down to seven. And he's like, okay, come take it. <laughs> so that's my Christmas tree. And this is the little remote. And this is the one I told you I keep. I take the battery out when the season is over. And I stick it to an index card along with this. And I wrap the lights around the index card and put it in a little Ziploc bag. So I know which remote goes to which ones the ones downstairs i have i put stickers on them that says like tree um remote um window remote because they all have little remotes to them so yep i'm still wondering if i want to get some for outdoors around the little trees i got from lowe's for the low low remember them trees guys that i got 75 percent off and the guy tried to change it up trying to say they wasn't on sale and i was like no sir no, sir, you will give me the price that it says. That's a y'all mistake, not mine. Not mine at all. So, yeah, that's my tree in my bedroom. Yep, that is my tree. Let me turn this back around on me. Put this back over here. I um, And I got just a little mini one. I have a flocked one that I got last year. I, did, I said I might. I got trees downstairs that I didn't use that I said I might either put up next year or sell or bless my with it or something. You check the food bag? What's wrong? Oh, I thought you was holding it. What's in your hand, baby? Why you gotta be holding them like that? You scared me. <laughs> Look like you holding your chest. <laughs> like a little kid, like don't touch my candy. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we are back in the kitchen. We are back in the kitchen. This need to hurry up and be done. It's almost done. I hope I ain't got no boogies. I'm all in the camera with my with my um face. Oh gosh. Ugh. So for Thanksgiving, I don't know if I'm just gonna cook on Thanksgiving or if I'm just gonna prep my stuff as um Thanksgiving comes and just go from there. Is the star on your tree lit up or did you put <laughs> I put the lights, I squ squished the lights in it. It's open one of them those that's the ornament from dollar tree a star and i squished the lights up inside of it girl hmm make it do what it do for the low low it is a season that is not all year round and i ain't trying to get broke for christmas i still want it to look pretty homey and you know warm i just love how when you see like christmas movies and how the houses look i love that red white red white and greens are just so beautiful and golds and silvers are so beautiful for Christmas um so yeah I definitely am not trying to go broke for the holidays and we're not going to be doing much because we get our girls so many things that they really enjoy throughout the year and I'm trying to teach them that it's not um not trying to I've taught them that it's not about um spending a whole bunch of money some people just overdo it you know spending thousands of dollars and I'm just like oh not for it not for it I I've come to the conclusion as a parent that i've wasted so much money in my younger years um trying to buy unnecessary stuff that my kids did not need at all um and then come to find out the stuff that i just thought that they had to have or have they never even did nothing with it it was just a waste of money so now it's more so of um, us enjoying one another, just having a good time, doing my little traditional things, the cookie contest. We're going to do the gingerbread contest. Um, you know, when we do, when I bake all the sugar cookies and we see who could decorate, there's the best. Remember we did that last year. Um, we got the gingerbread house contest. Um, that, um, the Christmas lip singing contest. Just little stuff that we do that we can remember. Because like I tell y'all, they are not going to remember all these things. Now those pets and stuff, they're going to remember those pets. That's going to be, that. those are like their little companions and their little friends. Like before I came in there, Rizzy literally had it on her leg, sitting on her knees watching TV. And he was like watching TV too. And he'll get up here and he'll just sit and watch TV from, I don't know why my phone don't charge when I go live unless the live is just eating up my battery. Um, Hey Cherish, hey Cherish. So he um literally was sit 
she had to have him right here and he was looking up because I was telling her the videos that her dad and I seen it was with people um putting the bigger ones up and they'll sit there and be watching TV it is one it is the cutest it was on the computer and it was sitting next to I guess baby was that was that bearded dragon sitting next to the computer and then just stepped on it or was it just dancing on the computer huh Remember that one that kept waving his hand and then start pressing his hand down on the keyboard? He was on the computer. Oh, you said on the computer? It was so cute. It was like... With both hands. It was like it was dancing and then it just kept taking one hand and was like... It was so cute. It was so cute. Those are some very smart um, reptiles. Reptiles? Yeah, I think those are... Yeah. They are very smart. So if you... I ain't trying to get another puppy, y'all. We don't have a shit to a peekaboo. We don't have so many different puppies in South Carolina, but we traveled so much, and it was so much to keep people to sit them or to take them with us. It cost so much more. It's like another person. We wasn't trying to do that. So they've been wanting a puppy for so long, and I was like, I don't want to do a puppy because I feel like my husband and I are going to be the ones taking it out and doing stuff with it when they're in. But with those pets, we don't have to worry about it. We can go say, hey, hey, and keep it moving. And they're each of them's personal pet, and they are responsible. That gives them some responsibility. Now, I told Rizzy, I said, don't be trying to, um, don't be trying to neglect the turtle now that you got the lizard. You have to still do right by the turtle. The turtle is the first baby. Don't be trying to neglect it. I set a budget for Christmas when the money is gone. I know that's right. I know that's right. Girl, mm -mm. I, I really, I think this might be a couple things for them because they've been getting stuff. People been blessed. I just thank God for the women in my life and the people in my life who've been blessing my children. I don't ask for nothing. Um, and people that bless me, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. I thank you guys so much that coming to my daughter's lives, like for their birthdays and stuff like that, that was uh, um, amazing. Thank you. You know what I mean? It was amazing. I really appreciate that. And they appreciate it. And they get stuff that they want. Like when Rizzy got her birthday money um, from my aunt, she that's what she said she wanted. I was like, okay, you get it and we'll get the stuff you need. So that was a part of her Christmas, me getting the stuff that she needed. Um, and she told me it was something else. It was like a couple things she want. But the stuff my babies be asking for, it'd be like less than 50 bucks. Like anywhere between 50 to 100 or less, like around in that range. They don't ask for crazy stuff. They really don't. They really don't. Rizzy had her phone. Babe, how many years Rizzy had her phone now? Huh? About three, right? Same phone, about three years. Still working. She's very responsible. She keeps up with it. Thank God I don't want to be talking about it and something happened. So let me knock on wood. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. But yeah, she's done good. She's done good with her phone. Naya got her phone for her 16th birthday. Um, and she still got the same phone. And she ain't been fussing. Now she get her, her job. Well, she got her job. So if she chooses to get another phone, that's up to her. Um... Oh, gosh, she did so amazing for her first time on the floor. She sold as many sh uh, shoes because she worked at uh, Journeys. As many shoes as she um, was supposed to sell for the week, she sold in one day. And one day she sold more than anybody. So she's doing good. I said, oh, more than likely they're going to keep you. Because you know how they hire all these people for the season. And then after the season they let go of who they want. And who's, who did really well or whatever. So Christmas is all around. Kindness is all year round. Give people their gifts and flowers every day. Exactly. And that's what I want. I want my kids to know that I always show love. I always cater to their needs and their interests and try to do things that they wanted. A lot of parents, and you hear me say this a million times, a lot of parents do stuff for their kids because they feel that's what they should should have versus getting to know your kid. Like even with the snake, guys, a lot of people are like, oh, girl, you a good mom. I can't do the snake. Or some people wouldn't even do the um, lizard, reptile, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it lizard, bearded dragon, whatever. It's a bearded dragon, but some people wouldn't even do that. Turtles and stuff like that. Some people wouldn't do that. But I have to compromise as a mom. If I don't want to do a puppy, I don't want to do something that's funky. I told her we ain't doing no gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs. Um, what is the other ones? Gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, chinchillas. Um, them chinchillas were so cute. Um, what else? 
just the ones that pee and 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 pooky in that little wooden stuff and then the stuff uh starts to get that funky burn smell like feet and vinegar rotten booty smell yeah we're not doing that so um she chose that she did her research and said mommy i know what i want i want the bearded dragon so her dad went and took her to get it and she used her money and then the lights the cage um the cage was a good price like i told you 15 but the lights and the light bulb and all that stuff was expensive. It was like 59 bucks for that stuff. And then that grass and all that stuff was a kit. That was um, 20 And then that mat was like 15 So it added up. It was almost $100. But that was a part of what she wanted. So, you know, that was her gift. I know that's not going to sit to the side and be play unplayed with. You get what I'm saying? She's going to utilize that because it is her pet. It is her pet's home. So I spend money on stuff like that. You know what I mean? I surprised Naya because she, um, she, oh, she, if, who was interested in seeing a video? The reason I'm asking, because what I can do is I can load videos and only send links to people who are interested in seeing certain videos. Who was interested in seeing a video of the snake eating the baby mice? Because I'm going to um, load that up. And um, I also load up the video of the the um the the little lizard eating the crickets so i'll load that up and i'll name them and then i know oh yeah you did tell me you did and it was somebody else that wanted to see it too um so i'll what i'll do is i'll have the links and then if you remind me i'll just send them put them in your comment to you or try to put them under certain videos so you can see those videos but yeah i um just want to make sure that they're happy and make sure that I'm not wasting money because I'm not rich and I don't have it like that. My intention is to build an empire and you can't build one spending a whole bunch of unnecessary money. You feel me? So, yeah. Okay, guys. Mm. This is smelling good. Let me see. I'm trying to see if it's done. I was hoping it could be done while I'm on the live so y'all can see it. Mm. Oh, my little. Y'all remember I got these last year from Kohl's after Christmas? I ain't put them up yet. It says only a morning person on december 25th these little towels and just like hot cocoa and stuff let me see if they are ready let me see let me see y'all remember this dress i told y'all about i got from ebay it's the, the theo dress i got it where you can't tell but one arm is like longer than the other I say something smart Say something smart. Say anything smart. Don't order nothing like this on eBay. That's all I'm saying. Just, but see, if I ain't showed you that, you couldn't really tell. I can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't tell. You can't tell. Can't tell. Can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. Oh my gosh. When I first got, I was like, babe. He was like, boy. He was like, I think it's nice. I was like, it's a maxi dress. It go all the way down. I was like, uh, you really think it's cute? Because it didn't say like one long, one short arm when I bought it. But uh, now eBay don't sleep on them. They have some cute maxi dresses and some cute little items in there. But uh, wrong mug. I don't know what this is. You may know rich, but your heart is. And that's all that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. I love y'all. I love you, Wendy. I remember. Oh, look, look. Okay. Okay, we in there like swimwear. Okay, the bottom released. We are done. We are done. We are done. Wait, hold on. Let me make. We done. It bubbled out. Oh well, it's still gonna be good. Look, y'all. Look, my phone acting like it wants to, to want to want to die. y'all see uh -oh. that's what it's looking like that's what it's looking like okay let me put my charger back in yep it was definitely not charging and i can't stand i don't know why it does this to me it don't charge when i'm on live i don't know well ladies i am going to get myself off of here oh y'all see all the bows on the um 
the kitchen thing. And over by the coffee maker is too much stuff over there. I ain't even about to play myself right now. Um, those are fake poinsettias. Poinsettia, poinsettias. Whatever. Don't judge me. Judge yourself. These right here um, I got from Walmart. And it was $1.97 last Christmas. I got this one. And then I got one behind my um, couch. Brain Frizzart. <sighs> All right. So, ladies, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I hope you enjoyed me doing the ice cream. I love the taste of the ice cream, the texture. I love. Girl, them things hot glue. That's what I did last year, and they did not fall because I tried to stick them with that double sided tape, but I guess because the heat, they kept falling and was so irritating. I said, I'm hot gluing these bad boys. Those are all Dollar Tree bowls. All Dollar Tree bowls, y'all. Nothing fancy. See my window? All Dollar Tree bowls. All Dollar Tree bowls. All Dollar Tree stuff. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm going to get off. Anybody have any requests or anything that you want to tell me before I get off? Thank you. Thank you so much. Do y'all know I changed those lights? I ended up pulling them other ones down um, because the colors that I wanted, I don't know what happened. But something happened, and so I had to change them. Yes, girl. You can make it happen at Dollar Tree, okay? You could definitely make it happen. I um took them down and ended up buying some more. Um, and these are funky, too. Let me show y'all. Y'all just look right here. I just going to let y'all see under the... So y'all can see the... How they change up. That's purple. Let me cut this light off. Let me see if y'all can see. Let me show y'all what it looked like. And this is the remote. So this is what the kitchen looked like at night. This is a remote and it's a big one. It's a big one. So let me show y'all the different um. So for Christmas we could change it. That's one of my favorites. The blues, y'all know I like the blues. Different greens. It's going into the purples. Lighters. So this is like white. And this is like a, a, a daylight white. Then you can do quick. Like different um, things. So these are different molds. And I showed you guys this when I put these up some years ago. So this is like a flashing. It'll flash whatever color you got up. This just on its own. This is fading. And these particular ones I got from Amazon. So yeah, those are the lights. Let me cut this back on. Those are the line slang tees. And these were not expensive at all. Hola. I love them. I love them. Okay, I have that in my kitchen and bathroom. Yeah, I put these up some years ago, like almost three years ago. Um, I put these up in the kitchen, and I just end up switching them and changing them. Um, I had, I have another row of the ones that I had originally. I just didn't do nothing with them because they were gonna go on the bottom underneath the cabinet. But because I got another idea that I want to do, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I be changing stuff all the time. <laughs> Come through purple. Yes, DG, you like purple too? Black girl. So you said you have them in the kitchen and the bathroom. Where you got them in the bathroom? Now in my bathroom, remember I showed you, well, I don't know how long you've been, you know, watching or if you caught it, but my bathroom um, faucet is uh, my bathroom. It's a big square um, shower head and it lights up. It turns colors. I showed you that a couple years ago too. Um, and then this new faucet, remember the new faucet I showed y'all? That lights up. Let me show y'all. Well, the ones who, ow, 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 I'm squeezing myself with this. This is the faucet in the kitchen, the new one I showed y'all. So. It's going to change. So green means you can go and then. It's going to turn blue when it gets real cold. So green is like in the middle. And then when I turn it back that way, 
I'm waiting for it to turn blue. <laughs> if it does turn blue for me. Maybe I gotta pull it in. But I know back here, when it gets real hot and my water get hot, hot, hot. Like hot, 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 hot. Let's see if it does or if it's gonna disrespect me and embarrass me. It's so the pipes are probably so cold, it's taking forever. And we got a new hot water heater. Oh, babe, they must have set, because we did get a new hot water heater. Nope. No, I can tolerate it. They must have set the water back on that hot water heater, huh? Because I noticed it ain't real burning hot like it used to be. See, it's the blue. And then it'll turn to um the red. You heard me, babe? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, because I can tolerate it, and I can put my hand in there. You see it? That means it's getting ready to turn hot, hot. Oh yeah, I thought that was cute. That's the one I originally wanted to get, but the one I had was on, it was a good sale. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. And I said, I'm not doing that no more. I'm just get what I want when I want it at that time, because y'all see what happens. That's why I have no cabinets here where the door is in there because these are warped, not warped. They cracked from the water from that leaking one that I had. Y'all remember I showed y'all that? So, we got to sand those, and I'm so mad because it's cold here, so we can't go and paint. And I have a, a sprayer, which will be better to give a smooth, consistent look. So, me and my husband is really thinking I might just have to ride through the winter and with it, you know, until it gets hot. Because I really want to lay them out on a horse on a big piece of wood and spray them all at one time and not have to do little by little. I just want to take them all down, degrease all this, and clean it real good and then spray them. I was thinking of changing the colors. I don't know if I am. Um, I don't know. So I, I might just wait. Babe, you think we're going to end up waiting until it get warm to do these cabinets? So we can do it outside? Yeah. I was thinking the same thing too. So it would be more convenient because in the basement I feel like it, the spray will get on stuff. Yeah, it will. Yeah. So we might have to wait till it get warm. Well, can you at least put the door back on it until <laughs> then? Huh? Yeah, I will. Okay. Because it looks a hot mess. This is like a missing door because he started taking them off the putty. In. You love the white? Me too. I just get bored with stuff quick. Yeah. So, and the smell will be right. Right. Yes. Because we was going to um, clear out space in the basement and put the tarp down. And I just, I, for it to be done right and be able to sit out in the air on a real good day, even if we keep them out overnight to get them to really seal good, I think that I would do that. Because I feel like we're going to make a mistake. Somebody's going to bump something. But my big old backyard, I'm going to get them horses out and get some big old plywood, put some tarp, staple some tarp on some plywood. And just set them down on them little nail things so they can be rolled, rised up and we can get all around them and do them all at one time. Because the kitchen ain't big. We could do all, we could literally do all these cabinets at one time. So I'm going to be patient so it'll come out how I want it to. So yeah. I, I, I really, I don't know. I'm thinking about changing it, but I do like my white. I do like my white. But I am changing something in my own kitchen. What do y'all think it is? not changing it like removing it but i'm changing the color of something do anybody remember what i said i'm going to change in this kitchen a color of something something major that everyone says they love every time i do cleaning videos y'all know what can be changed what can stay the same but be changed in color in a house can anybody guess nobody can guess So y'all ignore me. So ain't nobody gonna say nothing. That's why I'ma send y'all one of these Theo on um, maxi dresses for your birthday. So you can sport the long and the short arm. Look how short this arm is. No, uh-uh. Yeah, it does look fresh and nice. It does. It does. It's just been sucked. It's been kicking my tail seeing this openness and this the putty and it's been really picking my tail. I don't like it. But I'm going to be patient. Ooh, so I'm going to be patient. No, um, my floor. Remember I told you I'm going to change the grow. I'm so like over the white. Like y'all know how it is to keep this clean. Do y'all know what it's like to keep this clean? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. 
it's a lot and we have maybe regrouted it about i want to say two times since that time we did it last time we have the stuff to regrout it not regrout but color renew where you renew the color of it but get listen i'm going black i'm sorry i think the black will be hot though because i got black accents all over and my lights and you know this type of stuff all of my stuff is like black so i think it would be really cool because everything else is white i think it's gonna be hot and then the backs of these chairs everything is just like that black rustic wood and black so you want to come over like the things huh yeah i'm doing black i'm i'm gonna do black grout i think that's gonna be funky because technically there is black in the floor you probably can't see it but there's actually when you get close it's black in there as well so i think that would be real funky y'all it is it's a lot like it's a lot and i wanted that pretty white but i tested it out I was trying to be frugal because I didn't want to buy another bottle of black since we had all that white. I was thinking that I can tint the white with a black uh, acrylic uh, acrylic paint and I let it dry and I went to try to rub it. That stuff came right on off. I said, okay, stop being, stop being so cheap because one bottle technically we could get about three or four renews off of it. But if it's black, we shouldn't have to renew it that much because it ain't going to look dirty because you ain't going to really tell it with the, the black as much as you could with the white so it's like 14 dollars a bottle but i'm just i just be hating spending money on certain stuff but i end up getting it anyway so yeah i'm um i'm gonna go on and get it so we can do the floor i can't wait to try that i can't wait for it to cool off yeah i think it will be different too um wanda with the black i think it'll really make it pop and stand out I really do because like with the white is pretty sorry what sorry what dg what happened dg what happened i hope this don't cut off on me y'all dg you scaring me what's wrong dg what's going on girl talk to me you making me nervous Y'all like my family. He says, sorry, sorry, what? You ain't do nothing. Okay, hopefully you're typing. Hopefully you're typing. And I know it's a delay with me talking and, and you responding. So, I'm going to give you a few minutes. Who get hairs under their chin? Oh my gosh, I hate them. And then when they be so little, you can't pull them, but you you feel them and they just keep irritating you and that good time when they get long enough for you to pull it you be feeling like yes like you succeeded in i don't know what yeah okay dj what happened girl talk to me please Okay, DJ, maybe that wasn't meant for this video. You got me over here tripping. Thomas, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, this hair is going to irritate me. Is not your friend, guys? No. Nope, don't want to talk about him. She don't want to talk about him. Don't want to talk about him. Nope, he's not. Not trying to be funny, but nope, not. Now he's not with that guy that used to be in the videos. So if any of you on here ever thought that, wanted to know that, there's your answer. Yes, those hairs. Faye, you be like sitting there concentrating like till you get it real good. You be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang it. Nope. And you don't have it. I cannot stand it. My mom got them. My aunts got them. My grandmother had them. It's just we all had them. Some of them got better. Says, can you order me that dress? Thing? <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Oh, this ain't nothing. Not good. Wait, let me make sure I ain't make a hole. Nope, didn't make a hole. Up, oh, still fuzzy. But look, look, I'm pulling this one down. Bam. Now let me pull this one down. They dead wrong for this, though. But you could play it off a little something, something. Like, I didn't answer 
the question. What question? DG, what question? You scare me. Talk to me, girl. Talk to me. Ooh. Who knows my bougie drink? Where? <laughs> Forgot I cleaned this and it had water in it. My bougie drink. Who, who Can anybody tell me what's my bougie drink that I put in a glass when I don't want to drink wine but I want to look like I'm doing something? Because I'm about to make it right now. Could anybody guess before I come back? What is it? What is it? Ugh. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to hide it. See if anybody can guess. It's about to go off, y'all. It's about to go off. It's about to go off. 